terminal, from which the visitor begins the trip into the city. Our own journey begins as we emerge from the building and follow our luggage to a waiting taxi. Many visitors arrive in New York for the first time by Clipper. Others are veterans of a dozen trips or more. But all arrive expectantly, knowing that there are always new sights to intrigue the interest. However, it is when we enter the main portion of the bridge that we really begin to get the feel of the city. For it is from here that the Manhattan skyline seems very near and very large. And then, suddenly, we head down toward street level and our hotel. Our way may be along a street whose walls reach up toward a blue and distant sky. Or perhaps by a different route, we travel along the wide expanse of Park Avenue. Choosing from the many excellent hotels New York offers, our selection might be these 47 stories of comfort and convenience. We've just time to secure our room before lunch, after which there is much to be seen. In sightseeing, the favorite of many New York visitors is a trip by air. Sightseeing planes operate from a number of nearby airports, and such a trip offers an unforgettable view of the massive gray buildings of Midtown Manhattan. An air view of Rockefeller Center gives some idea of its...